are at a cemetery located just down the road from the Osawatomi, what used to be the Osawatomi State Mental Health Hospital. And I first saw this when my own mother was up here for a short stay. When I saw it, I could not believe it. Graves, pretty much unmarked. Those names. That's the front, number one. And you can see the back has nothing on it. Just concrete markers to mark where these poor people were laid to rest. I often think about the song that talked about the horse with no name, for out in the desert there is no pain, or nobody to give you pain. So here we are, walking down Cemetery Row, and there's number 13, I don't know if you can see that or not, rows and rows, no names. I really don't understand. They were people. They did live here on this earth. But yet, number 28, somebody thought something of this because there's a bush. And as you can see, it just goes on and on and on. I can't get it out of my mind. Oh, there's one over there I haven't seen. <clears throat> Let's go look at that. Somebody has actually put a marker on these people. Let's see what it has to say. Clyde Nelson. And Clyde died in 1941. So you can see that these are pretty old. Clyde Nelson was a father. My own grandfather was up here. And gosh, it must have been, he died in 1945, he had, uh, I don't know whether it was colon cancer or what. And as you can tell, they finally ran out of numbers, or thank God they ran out of people to put in here. But they're still, they're up to number 346, so there's 346 souls buried here. And they all have a number. All have a number. Who are they? What happened? Why are they here? Why are they here? And every now and then I see a flag, and, and you can see that there are some flags here. I don't know whether they're left over from the military or. <coughs> I guess we'll never know their story. Apparently, old graves. And if you look off in the distance, I don't know if you can see the smoke, but that's Lacine, Kansas, directly to the east. And now we're going to take a trip up to the old Kansas mental health facility. This was interesting because it's what the old highways used to look like. Look at it. It's made out of brick. It has concrete curving on both sides. 
and uh, gosh, this was probably about 19, I don't know, early 1900s that uh, this road was made. And of course, uh, that's when the hospital, I think, was made also. Well, the late 1800s is when the hospital. So this road maybe had, maybe it was late in the 1800s. For all I know, maybe my grandfather worked on this road. Very possible. That's what he did was haul uh, rock with a, he had a mule team and a, and a wagon, and, and he hauled rock and whatever, brick, I suppose, for the state of Kansas. And that's how he paid for his farm south of Oak, Oak, Elk City. And looks like they just black topped over it, and that's what's left of the uh, highway. So, and by the way, this used to be the old 169 highway. A lot of people don't know that. I believe it did anyway. Parts of it. <coughs> the old highways used to wind and wind and wind. So, anyway, so much for that.